What's going on everybody? It's Friday in Florida. Confusing weather. Wants to be cold one day, hot the next day. Nobody knows how to act. So today, who knows? Could freeze, could burn up. Um, little update on the carbon fiber and then uh, we're gonna reveal it. So I've been waiting for this carbon fiber from Italy for, it took exactly one month to ship uh, carbon fiber pieces from Italy from a forum member um, via Carrios, uh, which is, I believe, the Italian post office. And um, finally got this stuff, been tracking it over a 30 day period and been freaking out because thought it was stuck in customs. But it did get here, finally. Uh, had an appointment to get it put in because I wanted a professional to do it. So, um, because the door panels had to be taken off and I also wanted to do the door speakers at the same time. I have had some Infinity Kappas, not the new crappy ones. I have the old school ones from 2008. Brand new in the box that I bought about a year ago and I have not put them in yet. So my plan was to do everything at once and so I brought everything to um, audio design and custom graphics in Jacksonville. Long story short, they had the car for two days, charged me like 500 bucks and had some bad news once I got to see the car. So the next thing you're gonna see is the nightmare that I've been going through for about a week and a half now with this carbon fiber that I bought from a forum member who has not responded to my email since I complained about a few things with the carbon fiber. So, headed to the auto parts store, pick up some more plastic dip. I'll update you after that. Headed into advanced auto parts to get some plastic dip. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what they have here, what kind of selection here in a second. Taking a look at what they got here, cleaning wise. Looking for some engine cleaner and shine. I don't even know if they carry that anymore. Mm -hmm. Still looking. Where's engine clean? All right, I'm gonna locate this, be back. All right, I've looked all over the place for engine clean, but I did find the plastic bit. I'm gonna get a bottle of this. Got everything I needed from Advanced Auto Parts. So I'm headed back home. Gonna do the big carbon fiber reveal except for this line that I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around. So I'm gonna pull a U-turn here, which I'm not supposed to do. Um, found a bunch of stuff in the auto parts store for a project that is coming up. I've actually got three projects in the works, uh, some how-to videos coming up. The first one though for today is the carbon fiber reveal. That's coming up right now. What's going on everybody out here in the garage? I'm gonna take a look at the stock parts with you guys first. So these are the stock interior parts. You can see they are made of wood. Those are the door panel pieces there. This is the center console piece here. And, whoops. Hit me right in the head. This is the factory shifter without keyless go. And that is the factory cup holder going to be explained and the ashtray interior, which I'm going to explain in a moment. So let's take a look at this by putting the top down here. And you can't Put the top down in the SL65 with the trunk lid open. So phone tried to pair with the Bluetooth on the joying and it stopped my video. Um, but anyway, uh, trickle charger is plugged in so I can't shut the trunk. Unplug that. Close the trunk. 
And now we should be able to put this down to get some more light. There goes the roof. If anybody's wondering how that roof works, that's it. German engineering. Go figure. And it says retractable roof plus. All right, let's take a look at the carbon fiber pieces and the nightmares that I have had. Um, first of all, um, most of the carbon fiber pieces were warped. You can clearly see that right here. It does not fit. It's warped right here. It fits pretty good. You can barely tell, but it bothers me. I'm a stickler. Also, um, one of the carbon fiber pieces, door panel pieces, was scratched. Um, I think it's that one right there. Yep, there's a scratch right there. That might be able to be buffed out. Um, high speed buffed out. Now, here is the biggest issue that I have. Um, very big issue. This center console does not fit at all whatsoever. Here's the problem. Um, not only was it warped very badly, it's also cracked right here, right across this, which is hard to see, but it is cracked throughout the clear coat right here. Um, it doesn't push down all the way on this side. It's hardly noticeable, but it is there because the whole entire piece is warped. There are no screws in it because you can't push it down enough to get the screws in the side and two of the bolt uh, screw tabs were broken off from the box, uh, literally out of that packaging that I just showed you. This is the new shift knob. This is the best of everything that came. It is not damaged. Uh, it has keyless go uh, on top. However, I do not have keyless go in my car. So basically it is a nice, um, nice looking upgrade, but this button does nothing as you can see. So there you have it. Center console carbon fiber replacement for the wood. Door panel carbon fiber replacement for the wood. And door panel carbon fiber replacement. Yes, I have contacted uh, the person I bought this from four or five times and they stopped responding to my emails. Um, I was gonna show you guys the biggest issue here and that was getting this cup holder back in and it still is not right. It is wanting to, um, I, I literally had to remove the cup holder completely, that big cup holder unit, take off the front pieces and glue them to this plastic silver piece which is then glued to this and I barely got everything back in and it is kind of janky looking and that bothers me because my interior is 100%. What I'm gonna have to do, unfortunately, is get a new center console piece at some point. Um, this one just sucks, it's terrible. And uh, I can't get the seller to respond to me. I should have bought it brand new, but I saved $700. The only thing that makes this deal worth it is I got the shifter, um, which is normally $250. I got everything for $1,000, but it took a month to get here. There was some miscommunications because he doesn't speak English. So that's the story. That's what happened with the carbon fiber. We're going to see you guys again pretty soon. I've got a nice little project coming up regarding this interior.